Hi, this is Tim McKean. I'm here in Audition today, and I wanted to make a quick demonstration of the uh, Mix Paste feature for pasting in room tone. So here I am cleaning up a little Audition that I'm putting together, and I can tell right here I've got a, a breath, I've got a couple sounds, and I've got a little click or something over here that I want to take care of by, uh, by just replacing those with room tone. So the first thing I want to do is come over to the end where I've got some nice clean room tone and, and just make a selection here. So I'm going to make that selection and just uh, copy that. Normally I use keyboard shortcuts for this as well. Now I want to come in, select the portion that I want to replace. So I'll just select from here, make sure I get that whole breath that I want to replace. And then again, we're going to use Mix Paste. Mix Paste has a lot of options. You can insert what you've uh, copied, you can overlap, you can overwrite. Sometimes I'll even use the loop paste if I'm trying to fill in a whole document. Uh, like for example, I've had times where it was easiest to use a gate and knock out all the background sound or all the sound and then replace it all. Uh, replace all the room tone with a pre-recorded room tone. So in that case, I would want it to loop as many times as it needed to fill the document. And in that situation, I would choose overlap because I'd want it to not replace my narration, but simply mix in with the narration so that the room tone is in the background. For this example today, I'm going to use overwrite. And so that's going to replace the duration of the selection only. And this is nice because it doesn't mess up my pacing. It doesn't mess up the timing at all. It only fills in, it pastes in um, into that selection that I've made. And you can see that it's coming from the clipboard. If you have a room tone file, you could also choose from file and browse and find your room tone file. Here's my room tone AIF that I usually use there. I'm going to cancel that. And for today's example, I'm going to bring it in from the clipboard that I just uh, copied earlier. So I'll hit OK. And you'll see now that that room tone has filled in nice and smooth. Let's do the same thing with this part. Make the selection to get all those mouth noises and things like that. Mix paste. The settings stay the same from the last time you used it. So if you're using it again and again, you don't have to adjust settings every single time. It's always going to be um, the same as what you did before. So I can just click OK. And now I can see that that room tone has filled in nicely. And we can do that much quicker if we are comfortable with keyboard shortcuts. If I want to do the same thing here again, select the full range so I can pull out some of this bass down here in the bottom. Keyboard shortcut on the Mac is Command Shift V. Hit that, hit enter, and it fills in right away. And I'm sure you could probably program that as a macro with a single key um, shortcut as well if you wanted. So that's uh, some of the ways I use mix paste in Audition for filling in room tone.